Here we are at Isla de Tesoro. We have in our possession a treasure map and a compass. Orienteering is the practice of using a compass and a map to orient ourselves and move from one location to a specific destination. Let's look at the map first. The map gives us a bird's eye view of the island. We know we must be around here because we are right by the shipwreck indicated on the map. The map tells us we have to get here next. If we really had a bird's eye view of the island, that would be easy. But we can't see over the hills and trees. So we need to figure out in what direction our destination is. That's where the compass comes in. It would be easy if the compass just pointed to where we need to go but the compass always points north, and we don't necessarily want to go straight north, so we have to figure out in what direction relative to north we want to go. Let's start at our first landmark, the shipwreck, and I'll show you how to orienteer. Okay, here we go. Let's get out our map. Now let's get out our compass. The needle that always points north we ignore while using the map. Forget about it. Instead, look at the big red arrow. That is the arrow that points to where we want to go. So let's point it where we want to go right now. From the shipwreck, where we are, to the next point on the map. Now, we know that the red arrow is pointing where we want to go on the map. So we need to make it point the right way in real life. We know the compass will always point north, so let's point the hollow arrow north on the map. Turn the dial to point it straight north. The lines of longitude on the map will help. Once it is lined up, we are done with the map. So we know that if the hollow arrow is pointing north, the red arrow will tell us where we want to go. So how do we line the hollow arrow up with the north in real life? With the compass needle, of course. Rotate the whole compass until the needle fits neatly within the hollow arrow. We've got our heading. Let's go. We know we've got the right direction, but knowing how far to go is important too. It takes some planning ahead. Measure your steps, or paces, to find out how much ground you cover in a pace. Then you can count your paces and know how much ground you've covered. Look, there's the next map. Now that we have the second map, let's do it again. We know that we're here. Point the red arrow from where we are to where we want to be. Line up the hollow arrow with north on the map. Now line the compass up so the hollow arrow is facing north. Head in the direction the red arrow points, and off we go. I feel a little sorry for that guy back in the cave. He probably didn't know how to orienteer. Looks like we're coming up on the next map. All right, one more map, one more time. We know that we're here. Point the red arrow from where we are to where we want to be. Line up the hollow arrow with north on the map. Now line the compass up so the hollow arrow is facing north. Head in the direction the red arrow points. And off we go. There's the treasure. We made it. And most importantly, we learned the basics of orienteering.